What's going on guys? Derek here from DerekBennett.com. If this is your first time watching any of these videos, welcome to the site or welcome to the YouTube channel. You could be watching this on YouTube as well. If you are, go head over to the site, submit your email address, get notified of everything we got going on. All the new lessons, all the new grooves, all the new scales and all the exercises we got coming up in the future. If you're returning, you know what we do here. Grab your base. Let's get started. <laughs> So let's break this down. In the beginning, I was playing or freestyling or improvising over a C major chord while trying to implement the scales and the exercises that I wanted to talk to you about today. Uh, trying to add in those major sixth, sixths, wow, sixths. Anyway, major sixth and major thirds. Oh man, that's funny. Major six and major third exercises. All right, uh, you can't really tell when I started them or when I finished them because that was, I guess, that's the whole key um, to not be able to tell when I'm doing exercises inside of uh, my improvisation. Okay, so I probably can't play back to you verbatim what I did, <laughs> but I can give you a little idea of what it was just to refresh your memory. It sounded a little bit like this. <laughs> something something like that sorry excuse the mess up <laughs> anyway it sounded a little bit something like that so inside of that there were some major third exercises going on in there and major six exercises so start with the third all right if you haven't already learned your major scale it might be pretty important to learn that uh before you look at this video or before you go any further so we're working with major scale this is a regular regular c major scale okay you should know that first before we go any further <laughs> okay so the major scale we do that in thirds so it just basically means we're we're playing the third of each note okay so the first note for c we're going to play the third of that which is e okay for the second note d we're going to play the third of that which is f okay for the next note e we're going to play the third of that which is g okay and then we keep going with that pattern that same pattern so finish we'll finish off the exercise for this case we'll start on the e string on the uh eighth fret okay so we have our thirds d f e g f a and then we'll keep going just like we did down here you want to go ahead and play that back and forth so start it very slow c e d f E, G, F, A, G, B, A, C, okay? If you want to think about it like that, you can. You can think about the note, the actual notes. If it's a little bit tough for you to call out the notes right now, go ahead and memorize the fingerings for this scale. All right, that works as well. For me, the fingering, uh, the fingerings, uh, the finger numbers for the scales or learning anything else like licks or um, exercises, that helps a lot for me too as well because bass is just patterns. Uh, everywhere we play this is gonna be the same exact thing. If we change the key, it's gonna be the same exact fingering. So the fingering isn't gonna change. just switch to another key is the same exact fingering all right so I actually touch on that in my other lesson video if you haven't watched it um, on learning your fretboard a little bit better uh, it just talks about the patterns of bass and uh, just knowing those you know sequences okay just, just just to help you out a little bit better because learning your fretboard that's almost half the battle <laughs> of playing bass okay so let's go back to the scale in thirds okay once you get comfortable with playing that Once you get comfortable with playing the major scale in thirds, go ahead and, and let's jump over to the major scale in sixth. Okay, so we'll play that major scale in sixth. We'll play that 
It's the same concept. We're doing the scale in six now. All right. So let's figure that out. Let's go down here. Let's go to the third fret. Let's figure that out what the six are of the of those notes. So first note, C. Got to go to the sixth note now. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. So the sixth note. All right. So next note, D. To the B. Okay, and then so forth. We're gonna keep doing that. All right, let's move it up here because down here we can't really, can't really have too much room down here. All right, so let's move it up here this way. We got C, A, D, B. All right, so the fingering for that, this, the fingering is, is important for that as well. All right, so we got two, one, four, three. Okay. Next. One, four, to the C, two, one, all right, four, three, one, four. Let's go back to the beginning, let's, let's figure this out. C, A, D, B, E, C, F, G, E, A, F. And if you want to keep going, you can do another one. It's just a whole step from that, from those two last notes. You have a B and a G. All right, if you want to keep going, you can do that too. But let's start, let's stop right there and let's go over and make sure we got it right. You can work with that. You can go backwards as well. Everything you do going up, you want to go down too as well. All right, so. Same thing with the major scale in thirds. You want to go back down. We'll be able to go back down. Okay, so the six. I mean, this is a great exercise for your fingers and the dexterity of your fingers um, while being melodic at the same time. Um, like I say, in, in, in a lot of my lessons and a lot of my one-on-ones, uh, I like practicing things that are melodic. I like practicing my phrasing, um, phrasing that makes sense. I, li I like being able to add those and, and incorporate those scales and those exercises to go right inside of my playing. Um, it just makes sense. Just makes sense musically um, to me. Okay. Um, some different works for you. <laughs> it works different for you. Okay. So I'm just showing you what I can do. All right. Or what I do or what, how I learn it. Okay. So I'll do that again one more time. Six. thirds all right guys as I always say take these exercises slow if you haven't learned the major scale yet go ahead and go back and learn the major scale first so you can be comfortable playing these exercises take it slow make sure the notes are coming out clear and get that mu muscle memory working all right if the learning the finger numbers are better for you Two, one, four, three, one, four, two, one, four, three. If learning that is a little bit better for you right now, by all means, please learn the finger numbers for that. I, I would suggest learning both. Learn the notes for it and the finger numbers. But for some reason, uh, some most people work a little bit faster when they have those numbers. All right. So work with that if, if that works for you um, with the scale in thirds. If that works for you, go ahead and work with that. All right, guys, if you're watching this on YouTube, go ahead over to the site, submit your email address, get notified of everything we got going on. You don't want to miss it. Till next time, I'll see you.
Thank <laughs> you.